Alright, hey, what's up everybody, and happy Halloween. It's not how Halloween is when I'm recording this, but as when this video will be posted, it'll be close to Halloween. So whether this gets uploaded the day after Halloween, on Halloween, or before Halloween, happy Halloween to you all. And in spirit of that kind of Halloween, uh, we're going to be reviewing Jeff Gordon's 2014 uh, Hunger Awareness Month diecast. As you can see, this is a NASCAR Authentics, a Spin Master NASCAR Authentics. This is back when Spin Master still had the NASCAR Authentics license, and it's in the little collector box here. So there you can see the diecast in there. This is my brother Disney 24's diecast, so shout out to him, and uh, thank you for letting me review this diecast. But you can see here, we've got the 24 there on the side of the collector's box, another 24 here. NASCAR Authentics on the very top, as you can see right there. And then we come around to the back. Oh, we flipped Jeff Gordon over. Well, that's unfortunate. 2012 Sprint Unlimited, I tell you right there. <laughs> uh, those of you who follow NASCAR for a while, you'll know what that uh, reference is too. But um, you can see right here on the back, we've got Hendrick Motorsports, the Jeff Gordon Drive to End Hunger, uh, drive, <laughs> drive to End Hunger, Hunger Awareness Month car. I couldn't even think of what the car was called there for a second. Uh, there you see Chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup uh, series is what it was in. It's because it actually does have Chase markings on it. And it actually was a race winner as well. This car, Jeff Gordon drove to victory at Dover. So it says it's Chase for the Sprint Cup, but I really feel like it should be more in the race winner segment because Jeff Gordon did win in this car at Dover in the Chase race in 2014. So we got to get Jeff Gordon unflipped over and out of the packaging. And when I do that, I'll show you the review. So let's get on with that. All right, and here we have Jeff Gordon's 2014 Drive Down Hunger Hunger Awareness Month Chase Diecast. Man, that's a mouthful of a name for a diecast. Opened up out of the packaging. And I, uh, before I get into the review, I want to let you all know. If you hear me sniffling or you hear something else, that's because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now. I got a bit of a cold, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I've got sucking out a throat lozenger while I'm doing this review, so I'm not going to let a little cold uh, stop me from reviewing diecasts here. So, uh, part of the reason why, the whole reason I say this is a uh, Halloween uh, type feel is because, if you ask me, this car almost looks like a pumpkin. I mean, it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. With the fact that this is all orange here on the top, and then you've got the black at the bottom, this almost looks, it reminds me of like a jack-o'-lantern, is what this reminds me of. So that's kind of the reason why I'm doing it uh, on a Halloween weekend. And, uh, so yeah, that's why I kind of feel it's funny. What's also uh, funny that I just realized is that, uh, Jeff Gordon is coming back for his supposed final race of his career this weekend at Martinsville. So, um, that's actually, I just realized that, so it's kind of almost perfect. Jeff Gordon's making what is supposed to be his final start at Martinsville this weekend. Of course, what's supposed to be his final start, he's, he was supposed to have his final start at Homestead last year at the end of 2015, but, you know, he's filling in for junior uh, for his teammate there uh, this weekend at Martinsville. So that's kind of fitting. I'm reviewing a Jeff Gordon diecast. And also, this was Jeff Gordon's, uh, I guess it was his next to last career win was in this car. So I guess that's a bunch of just things fitting together with the Halloween look to it, the fact that it's Jeff Gordon and this weekend is his supposedly final race. I guess it all just fell into place. Well, didn't it? So, all right, enough of that. Let's get into the diecast itself since that's. Probably what most of you want to see, and you've turned the video off already. So, this is Chevrolet SS front bumper, of course. You've got 24 there. Hendrick Motorsports, as mentioned, this is a Spin Master die cast, so the mold is a bit different since it's a Spin Master car. You've got Drive to End Hunger, AARP, real possibilities there on the hood with the uh, little ribbon there behind the logo. It's pretty cool. You've got Gordon up on the windshield, the two Chevrolet logos, and of course, it's in a yellow. It's um, colored yellow because Jeff Gordon was in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup in 2014, and he uh, won in the third race of the first round to move him on to round two. So there's that little tidbit there. Zooming in here on the right side, we can get the camera to focus in. Here we go. We've got Chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup logo there for 2014. Challenger 16 logo there up on the bottom of the A-pillar, so that's pretty cool. Goodyear over the wheel well. You're... Uh, yellow Goodyear Eagles, of course, from Pumper Contingencies. Up on the roof there, we've got Jeff Gordon's signature, as well as right here is actually supposed to be the 30th anniversary for Hendrick Motorsports logo, so that's pretty cool. Got a yellow 24 
Uh, this should actually be a white 24, but because Jeff Gordon was in the chase, it's a yellow 24 uh, to indicate that he's in the chase. When I did realize that this car should have also had a yellow splitter, but uh, Spin Master must have just forgotten about that, I guess, because there's no yellow splitter on the car when there should be. But that's not too big of a deal. We've got Drive Down and Hunger, real possibilities, real possibilities here on the side of the car. We've got AARP, real possibilities here on the um, in front of the rear wheel well. Rear wheel well, there we go. Man, the sickness is getting to my head. Maybe I shouldn't be doing diecast reviews. Oh my gosh. Uh, we've got BeTheMatch.org also there below the AARP real possibilities. On the quarter panel, we've got Pepsi Max, Exalta, uh, the American Ethanol Ring, Valvoline and Panasonic there on the C pillar, Hendrick, Exalta, Bosch, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Siemens on the B pillar. B pillar, oh my gosh. I am messing up. It's apologies for this, folks. This is not good right now. Drive Dan Hunker on the back bumper. AARP Real Possibilities there right below it, as well as Valvoline and 24. Chevrolet SS back bumper decal. Hashtag N Hunger. Drive Dan Hunger Real Possibilities right there. And AARP Real Possibilities as a roof sponsor. Coming around to the right side. Side is the same as the left. As far as the paint scheme, uh, and see my throat loss center just got in the way there. Sorry about that. But um, I just sniffled. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Okay, I'm just going to try to get done with this review as quick as I can so you guys don't have to hear this anymore. Okay, so the paint scheme is basically almost like his uh, standard paint scheme in 2014. I don't have the di that die cast with me, so uh, if you don't know what that looks like, then we'll just get in here with the start. So, the paint scheme starts off here with black around the bottom of the uh, bumper there. It's all black around the bottom of the bumper. And then you've got fades into a little bit of orange. And there's a black stripe, and there's an orange stripe, and then back to orange. And then on each side, that's pretty much symmetrical on both sides of the front bumper. And then at the bottom of the front bumper, you've got this white stripe, and the white stripe continues all the way up over the front wheel wells on both sides, this is. And the, fr the white stripe continues up the front bumper and down the left side, right about to a little pit past the um, um, window net right about to where the B pillar stops. And then on the hood we've got some black that fades into orange and then we've got, of course got the drive down hunger reel possibilities with the orange ribbon there on the hood. Down the side, see my throat lozenger's getting in the way again. Down the side we've got uh, black that kind of comes down and it goes down the uh, on the side skirt and that black fades into orange and that go orange goes down the whole side of the car, up on the uh, A and C pillars as well. And then we've got, um, it's kind of hard to see, actually now you can see it here. Almost what look like some gold lines that go from the end of the ribbon here, because we've got the ribbon on the left side of the car. And from the ribbon you've got these gold stripes that shoot out from the ribbon. And then on the back bumper we've got black that fades back to orange. The deck lid is all orange. The roof is orange that fades to black. The roof railings are black. And this side is the same as the left as race day 2011 would say. <sighs> Alright. So what are the main takeaways from this review? Never do a diecast review when you are under the weather or sick, folks. Never. <laughs> okay. I'm getting into rambling. So I'm just going to make it short and sweet. Thank you for all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a happy Halloween, everyone. And I'll see you all in the next video.